Chinese company Beijing Construction Engineering Group on Monday signed two memoranda of understanding with two local companies, Lake Asphalt and Evolving Technologies and Enterprise Development Company Limited, better known as ETEC. This is the latest development born out of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley's visit to China last month, where Dr. Rowley invited the Chinese construction giant to work with this country to develop and monetize asphalt products. Speaking at the MOU signing, Energy Minister Franklin Kan said this new development provides a stellar growth opportunity for Lake Asphalt. It's proper marketing and we have been unable to have it in an exportable medium, which is pelletization or powder. We now going to build a powder plant and we are now have a proper marketing arrangement through the distribution agreement <coughs> with Beijing. With BCEG to assist in the building of a major industrial park facility in Point Lisas, Communications Minister Stuart Young said the local construction sector also stands to benefit as both countries agreed to have 60% of labor sourced locally and 50% local content to be used. Where Trinidad and Tobago has agreed to build an industrial park for 104 million US dollars, obtaining financing from the China Exim Bank. We've negotiated, as you just heard me say, local content, both in terms of labor as well as construction content. And we've also um, negotiated 10 anchor tenants from China to come and start off the industrial park.